The lifting of heavy natural stones is arguably the oldest method of strength training known to man. Before any man-made strength training implement was ever invented, finding the nearest heaviest object would have been the simplest way to test one's strength. Whether it was to prove your worth to a fishing boat's captain or as evidence of your capability as a warrior, lifting stones would have been an important milestone in becoming a man in times gone by. Scotland is one of the countries whose stone lifting history still lives on today. Whether linked to clans or myths, people travel from across the globe to test their strength and be part of the stone story. Over the course of four days, I set off to teach jiu-jitsu across Scotland whilst finding and lifting as many historic stones as possible. This is Stones and Strands. Originally, there's a stone between here and Dundee. It got broken, snapped in half last year. The uh, Wallace Putting Stone, which looked like a pretty fucking cool stone. How did it get snapped in half? I think someone just, there was like a crack in it for many years. I only found this out recently because I, I showed someone how I was like planning to go. He was like, oh, you can't do that, it's broken. <laughs> they had like a, it had crack through it and I think people just dropped, someone dropped it too hard. That's like a constant fear I always have when I pick up these stones. But I'm gonna drop it and it's gonna break in two and the whole community is gonna hate me. <laughs> The cage onto the floor and floor mounted it, so oh, that yeah, yeah. we've now extended the mat space, so it's a bigger mat space. Yeah, it there. feels a lot more open. It's very, very you, good. Have you redone the walls here? No, we just we just tidied up. Yeah, 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 looks good, man. Wait till you see upstairs. Okay, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. This is the only machine you need as well. No, no, this is literally the only machine. Literally, it's the only machine that I want. You just do that. We'll show you up the stairs, guys. How much? <laughs> <laughs> what do you think about the London? We've been downstairs for nine years, and at the start of 2019, we decided to take upstairs as well. There was a few showing me upstairs, but, but it wasn't a uh, model. No, 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 no. Yeah. Gonna take you to a church. Do you want to do the seminar? Yes, you want to do the seminar? Okay, we'll do the seminar. Okay, we'll do seminar. Yeah. How many people have you got coming? Uh, I'm not entirely sure, to be perfect. We'll have to do the seminar. You're mad, mate. The stained glass windows as well. Are you thinking that we're not going to do the seminar? Okay, we can do it upstairs. We'll do it upstairs. 100%. We'll do it upstairs. It's crazy. <laughs> crazy to even yeah, think yeah, about. Yeah. So to begin with, this is all we're going to work on. Two main things. One, taking up space on the near side to begin with. So get very, very close here with your hips. Your elbow on the far side, if you need to have, you know, tell the opponent to move and look at where they're leading from, take your elbow, get it on that point, and pull in from there. Do this, straight away your opponent should feel that they don't have the ability to move their hip and actually, and I have no idea why, some sort of witchcraft, for some reason, having pressure on the far side and the near side stops the opponent from being able to raise the hips up as well. So if I don't do anything here, do, give me just a slow, but yeah, hip bump there, come back down, and then when I'm here, you go and hip bump now. You see how it's harder, the hip bump from there? I don't know why, don't ask me. It's very confusing for me as well. Uh, but it works for some reason. So not only do you take away your opponent's ability to create space on the far side, but you take away your opponent's ability to some degree to actually create space uh, upwards as well. So just by doing this, it makes it significantly harder for your opponent to get to a good position where they can escape. And then once we've got that, we're gonna start breaking down the opponent and attacking from here. Any questions? 
Straight elbow on the ground. Uh, yep, it's, it, it doesn't matter where the elbow is. If the elbow obviously is too high, there's a chance of it slipping off. It can be on the ground, no problem. It's just not got weight going down because it's got that force going back. Right, so you're not waiting on it and pulling in. If I, if I push weight down on that side, it's going to be taken out. Uh, in the, so you can have it on the ground for a little bit of friction, but if you push it into the ground, you're actually fighting against your own ability to drag it. Does that make sense? So get to position, it's on the ground, but it's quite light on the ground, and you can feel it's pulling in here. And I'll go around and make sure everyone's got this down. Everyone cool? Let's give it a go. Yep. Okay. You can the play ma. Apparently that's my impeccable pronunciation of that. What are we doing there? Um, we're going to stay overnight there, and then we will begin our first day of stone lifting. Obviously, I haven't been able to train as much as I'd like to, uh, but all of my training's been focused around uh, stone lifting for the last couple of months. Even though I haven't been able to lift that much, when I was in Australia, I was going around finding places that had natural stones and lifting stones. Um, and then, if not, I do, I do like a lot, like stacking plates on top of each other and lifting plates when I go to these commercial gyms. So I think that my stone lifting strength is probably as good as it's ever been uh, like I pulled that one 40 natural stone at a commando before I left that was a couple of weeks ago so I shouldn't have lost too much strength in the last few weeks did the 135 stone a few days ago so I think I think like my lower back my hinge strength is good at the moment or is about as good as it's been for, for maybe forever I'm more worried about the grip internal pressure with the arms when we're lifting so it depends how dry the stones are and how dry we can get them but I feel pretty good about the majority of the stones I think I'll be alright yeah. is it really? no he's not he's lying I, I don't believe him <laughs>